fighting for the black community, fighting for the community of New Rochelle. I've worked with many people, white, black, Hispanic, Democrat, Republican, and I have taken some flag for working with Republicans <laughs> in my community, but I've worked with anybody that will work with me to move the ball forward. And she's talking about something. We, we fought together, an eclectic group of people, fighting to save our black majority district. And we fought down and we lost. Over uh, 10 years ago, I started advocating for diversity in this school district. Forced them to write, to rewrite a diversity policy, along with an eclectic group of people. Ms. Oliver, Bob Cox, believe it or not. <laughs> uh, and just a few of us. But we fought for a new diversity policy and it paid dividends. We had, we had a wonderful African-American principal, Reginald Richardson. We had, we had a wonderful uh, assistant superintendent of, uh, of HR, Dr. Joe Williams. Woo! We created diversity. Yeah. And in the last two years, Guess what? We lost everything. We lost every senior African American administrator in this district. And on top of that, this Board of Education, this is a constant refrain of disrespecting the African American community. Every senior African American administrator in this district. This Board of Education, without any input from the community, hires Ms. Fayou, who, who I, I don't know, she seems like a, 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 a wonderful person, but the fact of the matter is that she is, and she says it here today, and she does not understand how disrespectful that is, that she is 100% committed to a reverse discrimination lawsuit. That is the antithesis of the values, not only of the black community, but the community of New Rochelle as a whole. I'm tired of being a victim of, of, of of disrespect, of insensitivity, of, cult, of cultural incompetence, mm -hmm. when most of the board yes. doesn't even bother to read the, the, the lawsuit before they say, oh, let's give this woman a job of $285,000 a year. So this is, this is and you don't, you, you don't even have any shame. You come here and you say, yeah, I'm 100% committed to a, a, a reverse discrimination lawsuit. You don't even, you're not even aware of how disrespectful that is to the black community and to the community of New Rochelle. And it's for this reason that we will fight. We will never give up. Never. And we will fight this hype by any means necessary.